right, hello everybody. This is Mr. Richmond back with you talking about plants. This is our second video over plants. Last time we talked about the difference between vascular plants and non-vascular plants. We talked about the idea that vascular plants have tubes and non-vascular plants do not have tubes. So we talked about the two types of tubes. And today we're going to talk about the two types of vascular plants. The two types of vascular, I can't talk, vascular plants. And those, of course, being the gymnosperms, which is this word right here. Let me see if I can highlight it. Gymnosperms and this other word down here. We'll get back to the pictures in just a minute. The angiosperms. So gymnosperms and the angiosperms. So let's just start real quick with the the simpler of the two, which is going to be the gymnosperms. And I'm just going to kind of cut to the chase here because for fifth grade purposes, I'm not going to worry too much about a lot of details. I just want you to have the basics. Uh, gymnosperms are vascular plants, so they do have tubes. They do produce seeds, okay? So if you plant the seed in the ground, it grows up, you got a plant, you know what I'm talking about, seeds. But what's interesting about a gymnosperm is, why does it do this? Gymnosperms do not produce flowers and or fruit. Do not. Okay? And really the best example for me to kind of keep track of what a gymnosperm is would be like a pine tree or maybe like one of the Christmas trees, you know, the firs, the spruces, you know, any of the conifers. Uh, and then there are some weird things, which I don't really care if you remember or not, ginkgos and nidophytes, you know, cycads, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not even sure, but for me, the easiest way to remember the gymnosperms will be like a pine tree. You know, a pine tree has a cone, a lot of times they'll have cones, but they really don't have flowers and they don't have fruit. And those cones will open up and they will allow their seeds to release, the female cones will. And you've probably seen those seeds, like with a pine tree, for instance, they look like little helicopters, right? Just this, this little seed with a little wing on it. If you throw it up in the air, it kind of does this thing and spins and flies down. It's kind of fun to watch, little helicopter motion. But those will be the gymnosperms. And again, that word gym, no, no flowers, no fruit. And that's how I would remember that. But just think of a pine tree, you'll be doing pretty good, okay? Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the life cycle of a gymnosperm. You have that in your notes. We're not going to worry too awful much about it as long as you understand that they reproduce with seeds. Okay. Uh, the other type of vascular plant is going to be the angiosperms. The angiosperms. And they're also a vascular plant. Again, and they have seeds. They reproduce with seeds. But instead of not having, they do have flowers and sometimes fruit. And, you know, examples of angiosperms, anything with a flower, you know, fruit trees, vegetables, uh, a lot of hardwoods, those kinds of things. And I've got some pictures here of a corn plant and an apple plant. But those are your angiosperms. You know, they do produce flowers and sometimes fruit. Uh, and that's what makes them different from the gymnosperm. Gymnosperm, no flower, no fruit. Angiosperm, uh, flowers and sometimes fruit. Okay? Really, if you can remember that, if you can remember that both are vascular plants, one has flowers and fruit, one does not, and, it, and they both reproduce with seeds. If you remember that, we'll be in good shape. And so this video is going to be pretty short today. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about photosynthesis, and we'll talk about chlorophyll. And finally, and we might even sneak in non-vascular plants, just a little bit of information about those. So, But for today, talking about the two types of vascular plants, the gymnosperms, the angiosperms. So hope that helped you, and we'll end the video, and we'll be back next time with photosynthesis and chlorophyll. See ya.